think dreams are, um, are incredibly important. You know, we sleep for a third of our lives. It's about 30 years we spend asleep. Some of that time we spend dreaming. Now, I'm not even 30 years old. So if somebody told me that I was gonna spend my lifetime plus two years in a blackout and have no idea what was going on, I'd ask for my money back. It seemed absolutely ridiculous that we're visiting this place, this realm, this internal psychological world every night, and yet most people don't care. Or if they do care, they don't do anything with that. There is a wellspring of creative and intuitive wisdom which resides in the dreaming mind and is accessible to us every single night. When you get into lucid dreaming, it's like discovering that you've been, you built your house on a gold mine and never went digging. You know, you have this amazing gold mine of resource and wisdom in your dreams, which is accessible. But how is it accessible? You've got to start remembering your dreams, at least. And at most, you've got to start getting lucid within your dreams. So then you can start to engage this wellspring of creative energy consciously while you're sleeping. It's definitely not a rest period. I know that. You know, REM sleep used to be called paradoxical sleep. Because if you look at someone's brain waves, brain activity when they're in REM sleep, it's actually more active than it would be right now when we're just sitting having a conversation. Massive blood flow to the brain, massive seeming waste of energy when we should be asleep. Seems like a paradox. Why are we wasting all this energy in dreams? And of course, the fact is it's not a waste. Dreams are so, so important to us. From a scientific point of view, the kind of current scientific standing on the role of dreams seems to be memory reconciliation. We dream to go through the experiences of the day and to learn from them. And when we learn from them, this would better aid our survival. You know, let's say I've had a, uh, I was mugged during the day. So that night I dream about being mugged. But in the dream, I can take a different approach. I can run, whereas before I fought, or I can fight, whereas before I ran. We can rehearse survival situations in our dreams. And some scientists say it is dreaming in this way that got us to the point of top predator. That is how human beings evolved through the dream. As far as dream recall goes, some people have a natural kind of predilection towards remembering their dreams. But in fact, we can all remember our dreams. We just need to put in the legwork. The reason why most of us don't remember our dreams is because we don't care to. When somebody says, oh, I never remember my dreams. I say, when did you last try to remember your dreams? And they say, oh, well, yesterday morning, I woke up and I thought, oh, I really want to remember my dream and I couldn't remember it. And we actually need to work the other way around. You need to go to sleep setting the intention that you will remember your dreams, not just wait till the morning and try and work backwards. Most people, as they fall asleep and they enter the hypnagogic state, if they put in an intention that I remember my dreams, you know, make it present tense, I remember my dreams, I have good dream recall, most people within a couple of days will start remembering their dreams because they've set the intent to do so. Is that, can that be similar with lucid dreaming? It's a similar approach to lucid dreaming, but it can be a little bit more tricky with lucid dreaming. You know, most people, even if they have no dream recall for months and months and months, can start to remember their dreams within a couple of days using some techniques. Lucid dreaming, you're lucky if you get it in a couple of days. Some people do. They're either naturals or they're just really into it. But most people, we're talking weeks or months before you get a stabilized lucid dreaming practice.